Thank you, President, for giving me the floor. In the previous statement by Solomon Islands, there were some references that were not based on fact about the discharge of the outstreeted water into the sea. The government of Japan has always provided detailed explanation on this matter to the international community, including PIF members, based on scientific evidence in a transparent manner. The government of Japan has continued these efforts while undergoing the review by the IAEA, which is authorized to establish or adapt and apply international safety standards in the field of nuclear energy under the IAEA statute, and is recognized as the authority on nuclear safety by the PIF Foreign Minister's statement on 15th of September. The IAEA positively noted that Japan has provided information and has engaged in consultations with the interested parties, including in Japan and abroad, and has conducted significant outreach activities to ensure transparency. The government of Japan has never allowed and will never allow the discharge of the water into the sea that would endanger human health and the marine environment. The government of Japan has been taking measures strictly abiding by relevant international law while giving the due consideration to international practices and will continue doing so. The government of Japan has never discharged and will never discharge, quote, nuclear wastewater, unquote, that exceeds regulatory standards into the sea, as Solomon Islands mentioned. The water being discharged is water that is further diluted from Alps treated water, which has been sufficiently purified until the concentration of radioactive materials other than tritium is far below the regulatory standard. As for tritium, which is found in water discharged from nuclear facilities around the world in normal operation, the concentration level will be one-seventh of the WHO drinking water standard after dilution. To avoid, to avoid public confusion, it is important to have a correct understanding of the terminology. Since February 2022, IAEA officials and international experts selected by the IAEA visited Japan and have conducted a series of safety review and regulatory review on the Alps treated water based on the TOR between Japan and the IAEA. On July 4th, the IAEA published its, co its comprehensive report summarizing the outcome of the review missions from an objective and professional standpoint based on scientific evidence. In the report, the IAEA has concluded that, first, the approach to the discharge of the Alps treated water into the sea and associated activities are consistent with relevant international safety standards. And second, the radiological impact on humans and the environment will be negligible. The report also states that additional review and monitoring by the IAEA will continue after the start of discharge. The discharge of Alps treated water started on August 24th. The government of Japan and TEPCO, with the involvement of the IAEA, are conducting monitoring, but not found any anomalies. Uh, any anomal anomalies. If an event occurs, such as detection through monitoring of radioactivity levels exceeding standards, appropriate measures will be taken, including not discharging or suspending the discharge. The IAEA has confirmed and publicly stated that the level of tritium in the discharged water is below the standards. The government of Japan will continue to provide necessary information including the result of monitoring to the international community, which obviously includes PIF members in a timely and transparent manner, and will continue efforts to gain further understanding from the international community regarding the handling of Alps treated water. I thank you, Mr. President.